YouTube has removed, as of so far, three of my videos, all of which uh, date back at least several months. Um, some of them date back years, like a, a couple of years, which of course raises the question, if you guys were okay with this content back when this was first uh, published on your site in 2018, why does it suddenly violate your, uh, your terms of service now? Uh, but of course it's, it's a, it's a trick that, uh, these, uh, um, tech companies use if they're targeting you. It happened to me with Facebook. They would suddenly go back seven years, uh, and find something that I had, uh, writ written that, that, uh, they, they deemed to be inappropriate now and gave me a strike for it. Same thing is happening now with YouTube. So, um... Uh, the most interesting thing, the most uh, amusing thing, and also simultaneously the most appalling thing about, the most really surreal thing about the way they've chosen to go after me, the charges that they've filed against my videos, the, the way in which they've, they've uh, stated that my, these videos of mine violate their, their supposed terms of service, is they've said that I, they've accused me of cyberbullying. Now, you want to hear about the people that I've been accused of cyberbullying? Me. Somebody that you've never heard of, probably. Or if you've heard of me, uh, you haven't heard of me that much. I'm not famous. I'm not popular. I'm not, I'm not in any way high status. I'm some schlub. I've got something... I've got a little bit over 4,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel right now. My currently imperiled YouTube channel. Um... I am, I am the smallest of small fries, okay. But they they have accused me of cyberbullying. Um, they have accused me of cyber. The first of all, they they accused me of cyberbullying Hillary Clinton and Uma Aberdeen because I I recorded a video in which I discussed uh, the alleged video called Frazzle Drip, where they were accused of torturing a young girl. I don't even know whether this video is real. I don't know whether it exists. I said as much in my own video. Um, I never asserted its reality. But nevertheless, uh, I was cyberbullying these poor, these poor women. Uh, you know, and uh, it's such a power discrepancy, isn't it? A white male like me going after these, these, uh, these two women uh, who are who are so, so powerless, uh, in today's society, uh, because of white male privilege, right? Um, <laughs> Hillary Clinton and Uma Abedin, yeah, I mean, it's not like they couldn't destroy me with the snap of a finger, send a drone after me if they wanted to, but I'm the cyber bully. I'm the cyber bully. Me with 4,000, uh, plus, slightly plus, uh, YouTube uh, subscribers, me, some underemployed nobody. I'm a cyber bully because I, I did a video uh, in which I discussed this alleged video of theirs. Now, here's some other names that they uh, uh, that they that, that YouTube has rushed to the defense of and said, "You are a bad person, Andy Nowicki, because you're cyber bullying." Uh, you want to hear? You want to hear? Uh, some other names. Well, one is John Podesta. John Podesta. <laughs> uh, I don't. That's a, that's a name that needs no introduction. I don't need to to really tell you all too much about who John Podesta is. Nevertheless, who in this world has uh, more power right now? Who could find? Who could send someone out to to put uh, uh, two bullets in my head? And then uh, plant a gun in my hand and said that I, I suicided myself by shooting myself twice in the head. Who could do that? Uh, probably John Podesta could. But I'm the cyber bully because I discussed this uh, uh, supposed uh, this fatherhood video that was supposedly uh, his voice, uh, which sounded like it's. Uh, I don't know whether it's actually him or not, but it's definitely a man. Uh, torturing a kid uh, while the kid screams. It's a terrible, 
terrible video. It's awful to listen to. I, I, it's something I would never want to listen to again. And I don't know whether it's John Podesta in that, in that video. I don't know whether it really is his voice in that video. But for daring to even talk about it, I was a cyber bully. Finally, you want to hear the last of the, of the, uh, the four, uh, you know, uh, poor, put upon, powerless people that I've been cyber bullying. <laughs> the fourth, the fourth of this, uh, of this, uh, group, James Gunn. Yes, film director James Gunn. Uh, and I'm the cyber bully. I'm a cyber bully because I showed a scene in a past video of mine. I displayed a scene, uh, uh which was this, uh, from this, this um documentary this this mock documentary that he was doing and it was outtakes take uh, it was uh, like bloopers and outtakes uh from this uh this movie that he made called uh was it lolly world or lolly land something like that something with a very dodgy title um and uh at the time he was married to the girl who plays pam on the office and i was amazed that this creep could uh, could be married to the girl next door uh, as she's portrayed to us uh, in the office so so I was um, that was my interest in this video and in the video I point out that that James Gunn makes a joke about uh, anally raping his daughter and that is true that actually happens in the video and I point it out and I say listen listen to what he says here uh, and uh, you can probably still find that video somewhere uh, not not my video that my video was taken down but you can probably find the original video somewhere where James Gunn says uh, that uh, he, he makes a joke about uh, how he would how he would have broken her in by now meaning his daughter meaning by anally raping her that's that's what he meant in the context so but I'm the cyber bully remember I'm the bad guy I'm somebody, you know, with, with this, 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 you know, my, my mass, my mass array of resources. I'm the one, uh, who's, who's the bully. I'm the one who's targeting these people. These people don't even know that I exist. They don't know that I exist. And if they did, and I was, and I got on their nerves, they could kill me in an instant. And, uh, and everybody would just think, oh, uh, he, he. He died in an unfortunate um, uh, mining accident or something. Uh, I don't know. They could they could kill me six ways from Sunday. Uh, but I'm the bad guy. I'm the cyber bully. Me with my four thousand YouTube subscribers uh, and my uh, my uh, uh, cohort of uh, of books that. Uh, that, that have sold, um, ever so well, you know, and my, my, uh, my general, my general nobodiness. I'm the cyber bully. I see, uh, some message in all of this. I see, I mean, this is, I, I don't like to use the term gaslighting because it's a, it's like a, it's, it's just like this emotionally weighted term. It seems like it's often used dishonestly. Um, but this is pure gaslighting telling me that I'm a cyber bully. Uh, when I, when I, all I, all that I did was in these cases record videos in which I discussed videos that were supposedly made in the cases of, in two cases and one, in one case, a video that was made by one of these people in which he said something, uh, abominable. Uh, which uh, showed, uh, uh, I believe, something about his, his character that was deeply unsavory. In the other cases, it was just considering whether these, these characters that I already consider deeply unsavory, but who are, who are very entrenched in the, in the power elite, um, whether they might have been guilty of doing these things. But remember, this is the bad guy. You're looking at the face of the bad guy. You're looking into the eyes of the cyber bully, uh, and these people, the, these four people that I, uh, that I, I guess I, I guess called out, 
I don't, I don't know if I really even could be said to, to have called them out, except in the case of James Gunn, I guess. I did call him out. Um, but the others I was just sort of like, um, just considering, could this be so? Might this be so? But in all of these cases, I'm the bad guy, and they're the poor, picked-on people who YouTube is so bravely standing up for. I don't know. That's all. That's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. My name's Andy Nowicki. Check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.